It is happening right now. The scientists and engineers, uh, as we say, have gone through these, uh, these very joyful, jubilant moments time and time again. Vindication for his cheaper, faster, better policy of sending things that don't cost a lot of money out into space. But he and it's interesting, just a terrific job. The three of the leaders of the space program of the President's National Space Council. Up there on behalf of President Clinton and all of the people of our country. The Jet Propulsion Laboratory, where my partner, John Zarella, is standing by. And I know you're big into, the, into computers, and I want to tell you that their website, Meister, was just by here a few minutes ago. Today alone, eight million about landing the two degree angle, what does that mean? Right, tilted at only two and a half degrees, which means it's flat as a pancake. So it means it's flat as a pancake. So it is happening right now. It means it's flat as a pancake. So and if the airbags have been pulled in properly, there should be absolutely no problem getting them off. So there's a good, indi good indication now. I know I overheard Brian talking to him saying, we're going to get that rover off today. So the 8 million hits is just one of about 15 sites that we have worldwide. I mean, everybody is mirroring for us. It means it's flat as a pancake. So, so if you can't get into the Pathfinder site, go to one of the mirror sites and you should be able to get in easily. Picture just to look at whether the airbags are safely tucked in or not. For 30 and 30. If all that looks good, then they'll proceed on NASA to the... Uh, the uh, means it's flat as a pancake. So the, uh, getting the rover off yet to come here from the Jet Propulsion Laboratory. John? No kidding. Uh, you guys try to maintain your energy levels and uh, not fall over out there. We'll be getting back with you throughout the night. Georgia Tech, he, while he was there, he came up with all the terrific uh, video animation that uh, we were able to show you before. Been successful for, so far. They only have about maybe 40% more to do today with, to have 100% completion for the day. Yeah, now this rover, you've got uh, a model here that... Uh, um, it means it's flat as a pancake. So It's not tilted. It's uh, just about, as Donna Shirley said, flat as a pancake. It means it's flat as a pancake. So Pretty uh, pretty easily, correct? That flatness means two important things. First of all... The but if they were spinning fast, it couldn't get very far. Well, for the audience at home trying to locate it on their own Mars globe, I'm sure everybody has one. Mm -hmm. It means it's flat as a pancake. So to play, plead innocence on that one, I'm an aerospace engineer yeah, yeah. and not a planetary scientist. All right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to find out. Uh. There's no place to go. The Earth is a closed system. The Earth is a closed system. And next time we come back, I'll tell you which way to look. Anytime you point your binoculars or telescope up that way. Judy? All right, John, we're going to hold you to that promise. Woman. NASA will hold 6.30 p.m. Eastern, 3.30 Pacific. 3.30 Pacific. When it opened up, it was absolutely flat. So uh, that was really incredible news. Now, we have qualified these systems to land at 55 Gs. And the airbags were cut loose just very low above the ground. It means it's flat as a pancake. So, and so it just absolutely couldn't be better. So all that animation that we have has to be redone now, right? Because it has right. it bouncing around too much on the surface before right. it comes to rest. Right. We'll, we'll redo that. As far as we know, all flat as a pancake. So program across the, the agency. I'd like to take this moment to thank the American taxpayers in NASA. It's not our program, and we at NASA s celebrate you for believing in us. <laughs> Being a different kind of program, I was here in the spring. <laughs> Kirk. We can't be on the internet because we're going to get too many hits. Pinching ourselves, saying, is this, real, is this, is this really real? Or, or are we uh, doing a simulation? But, and uh, we're getting data back from it. I believe the Earth was flat. I have to push the pram a lot. It's, uh, it's something that a lot of people can take credit in, yes. and, uh, and not just me. So I... I big bump here, that's the deceleration of the vehicle as it went through the atmosphere. Uh, soon thereafter, the software under, under, uh, under, its, uh, uh, under an algorithm that uses the acceleration, the deceleration profile to Absolutely that Dave rule here about uh, literally 15 minutes ago. The surface of Mars was about 18 Gs, 15 meters high we think, uh, which is uh, pretty high. Uh, about 50 feet, and then it, it hit again about 9 Gs of, decel of deceleration, and then it 
flew up again for another seven meters in the air and then hit even harder, 11 Gs. And uh, we haven't figured out what that's all about yet. But, uh, take pictures around the periphery of the lander uh, and look at, see how the airbags are bunched around. The, uh, it'll be somewhat, uh, it was absolutely flat. If the scientists put them together and determine, and the engineers, and determine that it's safe, it was absolutely flat. Oh, there's some airbag stuff all folded up, and I don't know where that is. So I don't know if this is a problem or not. But uh, if they determine that the airbags are in good condition, then they'll right away send the command to deploy the meteorology mast. It looks as if it's almost windblown there. In the... Right, it probably is. In fact, that looks like a little dust drift Right, to me. right. But again, we're not scientists, so uh, I'll defer and let the scientists talk about what it really is. Well, it is a fascinating picture, Don. I'm looking at it as closely as I can here. And it looks sort of like a lava rock, like you might have in your, in your, um, your garden or if you went to Hawaii or someplace. Um, but here's another picture, I think probably the other side of the same rock. Yeah, I'm... that's the other side of that same rock. Yeah, this is amazing. <laughs> this is amazing. Now, Donna, this looks like a piece of airbag over here. Yep. Uh, I was that's, all back... that's, that's what they're really trying to do is take pictures of airbags, but they, every now and then they goof up and get a really nice rock picture. <laughs> Wasn't that spectacular? I mean, it really did. It looked like Arizona with little tumbleweeds and things. Obviously not tumbleweeds, but ooh, look at this. There's another one. Oh, wow. There's something. Oh, see that rock? That looks like a big one. Oh, another that's one a here. Big one. And a, a three now, see, or four here. Your airbags. Airbags save this. Yeah. Wow. If we tried to land propulsively in this area, we would have been creamed. Hmm. Wow. And ILC Dover, I should mention that ILC Dover was the contractor that built the airbags for us. When I talked to Tom Rivellini this afternoon, he had said to me, he says, I wasn't worried about the airbags. I was worried about everybody else's systems. <laughs> <laughs> I knew they'd work, he said. And they did. Yep, they did. The thing that was making everybody nervous, you know, everybody calling and say, oh, those airbags are not dangerous. <laughs> but it looks to me like they just work yeah, perfectly. I don't know if this is a rock or an airbag, this rock. piece here. Oh, you know, that's just, uh, I don't know, that's airbag. Yeah. That's airbag. But that quick picture of the flat rock, it looked like sandstone almost. Uh, Probably from a flat part of the terrain, and we're kind of floated down. This area is going to be a There's field be, day, isn't yes, it? Yes, there are going to be happy, happy, happy scientists. And it'll take years to figure out what all this means, right, Donna? Yes, I mean, yes, they'll be looking at this. And, People will do their doctoral theses on things like this. It was absolutely flat uh, for years and years. Now, we have actually, uh, with the Viking data, they spent 20 years analyzing it. And uh, we can spend 20 years analyzing this data, too. Whoa, you look can at this. Rewrite everything. Look, look at, at this, this, you guys. Oh. Does that look like a hill? Wow. or a, what See, is? there's that flat rock again. It, it almost looked like the contour yeah. of the land. See, there's that flat rock again. It was going up. Well, that's that's what they thought. What see, is? there's that flat rock again. Yeah. They might actually be able to see. You can see. Yeah, there's a here. wheel. There's okay. The central area in that. There's no airbags on top of anything. You know, what see, is? there's that flat rock again. Yeah. Oh, the wheels look really good. Um, see, is? there's that flat rock again. I can't see the restraints. They're cheering. We're getting cheers. Is that cheers from flat rock again? Yeah. Well, coming soon. You're right. Yeah. That's Donna, right. what are so these, these things? Pictures... Look like dominoes. Can you uh, can you tell me? It, here's there on the you edge know, of the airbag. I can't tell you. <laughs> see, is? there's that flat rock again. Okay. <laughs> I don't know what those are. Hope they're from Earth. Uh. Oh, yeah, they are. <laughs> see, is? there's that flat rock again. <laughs> I'll guarantee. Okay, now there's nothing for Earth. With all the money we're making on this, Donna Shirley, we'll get you a big TV for the, all for the right, future. All right, get me a big TV. What a night. We are making, we are seeing history being made, ladies and gentlemen, from the surface Earth. Pretty soon they'll be put together in one big old beautiful panoramic view. Of See, there's that flat rock again. What See, is? there's that flat rock again. So with that, I'll let uh, Rob... When it opened up, it was absolutely flat.